welcome back to the Piggy Corner. Today's video is going to be about earning your guinea pig's trust. And before I start the video, I just want to say sometimes it depends on how social your guinea pig is already. So like Oreo, it was really easy to gain her trust. But S'mores, she fully doesn't trust me. She doesn't fully trust me right now. And she's gotten a lot better, but she still doesn't fully trust me just because she's a much more timid pig. <laughs> okay, anyway, so let's get into the video. Okay, so one of the first ways you can earn your guinea pig's trust is by giving them treats. And giving them treats and hand feeding them is actually a really great way for them to get to know your scent and to trust you a little bit more. I know for me personally, my guinea pigs love it when I feed them carrots because that's their favorite vegetable. And they always let me pet them and like interact with them a lot more than usual when I give them treats, even s'mores who hates to be pet usually. So giving them treats is just one way to let them earn your trust a bit more. Okay, the next way to earn your guinea pig's trust is giving them time. When you first get your guinea pigs, they will probably be super stressed because it's very overwhelming to get moved around into a new habitat and stuff like that, and they're just not used to you yet, so it'll be very overwhelming and stressful for them. So for the first few days, you probably don't want to pick them up and just let them get used to their new home. And then during the first week, it's best to just only like maybe feed them, well, like give them extra treats and to just like interact when they're in the cage. And after that, they might get used to you picking them up a little bit more, but you should still not pick them up very often in the first couple of weeks and just give them time. Um, after that, you can start picking them up, but they might not fully trust you yet. Guinea pigs can take a while to earn your trust, honestly. It can take them a week, it can take them a month, or it can take them a year or longer. It really just depends on how social your guinea pig is and stuff like that. So Oreo is a very social pig, as I mentioned before, so she gained my trust by just treats because she loves treats. But S'mores is a very timid pig and some other pigs kind of abused her before she came into this home. So she is just very cautious still and won't let us pet her a ton, hates to be picked up. And so treats help her, but she just doesn't fully trust us yet. All right, the next way to earn your guinea pig's trust is actually holding them properly. When you pick up your guinea pig, you want to make sure you're holding them properly. Otherwise, it can stress them out a lot, especially if you let their legs and butt dangle in the air. Um, that is not the correct way to hold them at all. And usually, for the first time holding them, you just want to set them on your lap because it can cause them a lot of stress. I have a video on how to hold a guinea pig, but it was not the best video and I might remake it sometime soon. But you can always look up different ways to hold a guinea pig. And it's best to just start out by setting them on your lap or letting them run around you. But holding them the wrong way can cause a lot of stress. Okay, the next way to earn your guinea pig's trust is by having conversations with them. Usually in the first couple of weeks, it's good to sit by their cage and maybe tell them something about your day or something like that. Because it can get them used to the sound of your voice and your scent. And maybe just hearing the sound of your voice will help them trust you a little bit more. Okay, the last thing I'm going to talk about today to earn your guinea pig's trust is creating a safe environment for them. And creating a safe environment is plenty of space in their cage, um, plenty of hideys to hide in, especially during the first few weeks. Um, you might want to add one or two extra just because they'll be very overwhelmed and it's nice to give them plenty of places to hide if they're in the cage or outside the cage or wherever they are. Also giving them one or more friends will be better for the way they live just because guinea pigs are social animals most of the time and so giving them another friend will probably help a lot. Um, and then creating a safe environment, plenty of food, plenty of room to run around, and plenty of water and stuff like that. So giving them a safe and comfortable environment will help a lot. Okay everyone, thank you for watching. 
There are a lot of other ways to earn your guinea pig's trust that you can search up online or search up another YouTube video, but these were some of the main ones I'm just going to be talking about today. So thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this week's video. See you guys in my next one. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.